Does this look like a star? <laughs> no, it doesn't. This is a very Betty Crocker thing to do. Make a star out of an orange. Happy holidays, homemakers. I'm Melinda, and I'm cooking my way through Betty Crocker's 1971 recipe card library. And today we're making wassail. Wassail is from section A, seasonal favorites, winter, and it's card number 26. I never had a wassail before, but it looks really festive, especially having the punch bowl with like the floating orange stars. I thought that'd be really cute. Um, and when I read the ingredients, I realized it's kind of just like a um, mold cider. So I think it'll be perfect for any holiday gatherings we're having this season. So I wanted to give it a try. For wassail, we need six cups of apple cider, a cinnamon stick, nutmeg, honey, lemon juice, and zest canned pineapple juice, and then orange stars, which are oranges and little cloves, and cinnamon sticks to decorate. All right, we start by heating cider, all six cups, in a large pot. I'm gonna go ahead and measure six cups going in. So to that cider, we're just gonna add one of the cinnamon sticks. Mmm, goodbye. <laughs> And we're gonna crank that up to a boil. All right. While that's coming up to a boil, I figured we can make the orange stars. So it says, cut an orange into quarter inch slices. Cutting off the little butt. And then I guess that's about a quarter inch. And there's the other butt. <laughs> now it says, let's see. Insert five whole cloves at equal intervals in edge of each slice. <laughs> Let me look at this photo here. So we've got our clovies. We're gonna, five even intervals. So I'm just gonna poke it in here. Poke. Oh, what even are cloves? Why is it, why, is it, why are they shaped like this? When did we realize that you could use these to cook with? Oh, I broke one. Shoot, come on. When would we decide we could shove it in things as like wintry decoration? <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> I wouldn't say that they are evenly positioned. That's not bad. I could do worse. <laughs> okay. Wait, what happened here? Clove bits got on my orange. Okay, keep going. Push. Would it help if I like made a poke every uh, equal section here? I forget how many I just did. Will I even be able to find those pokes? <laughs> oh, I mean, that really does help. See, it's getting all dirty. Ta-da! <laughs> okay, yeah, I think it is useful to go in and make five pokes. So I'm trying to like imagine where the five points of the star are and then making the pokes. I'm excited to use my punch bowl for the first time since I've got it. It'll be exciting. Okay, I didn't poke very evenly. <laughs> but, you know, this is, this is about artistic expression, right? <laughs> I feel like that one should just have a six. No, stars can't have six. Don't go crazy. I'm trying to follow the segments as my north star, my north orange star. <laughs> Give me a few more here. Okay. <laughs> I make the slices and then I can't find where I made them. Oh, there's another one. Okay. Okay. <laughs> now what? <laughs> Cut a wedge of peel and pulp between two cloves. All right, <laughs> get this out of here. All right, now we're cutting a segment out in between. I have to look at the photo for the picture reference here. It's like you leave the meat of the stalk of the orange, but you cut out the pulp like that, like that. Cut a wedge of peel and pulp between each, between two cloves. I think I'm supposed to kind of go at more of an angle, hence the wedge concept. <laughs> this will be my test because it's like the weird butt of the orange anyway and looks weird. <laughs> yeah, this one's not going too hot. <laughs> it's like I want it to be angled down. Does this look like a star? <laughs> no, it doesn't. Okay. <laughs> Let's try again. This is a better slice. So I can't mess it up. A wedge, a wedge, cut a wedge. Cause basically the, the part that has the clove on it still looks like a little pyramid almost. And that's what I'm struggling with. This is a very Betty Crocker thing to do. 
Oh, make a star out of an orange. How about this one? It's kind of giving star, if you squint. Okay, I'm gonna keep cutting, we'll be back. All right, it's been five minutes of simmering, so I'm gonna go ahead and put in the rest of the ingredients. Um, so that would include a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, a fourth cup of honey. It calls for 18 ounces of pineapple juice. I could only find them in these little containers, so it's three six ounce containers. Oh, okay, don't, don't, don't splash everywhere. <laughs> And then the last thing is the zest and juice of a lemon. Juice goes in. Ooh. All right, now we're just gonna wait for this to come to a simmer again and then let it go for another five minutes. It's kind of a sediment forming <laughs> on the top, a film, if you will. I wonder if it's like the apple cider apple bits that are like kind of rising to the top, but hopefully that's okay. <laughs> While I wait for the wassail to boil, I thought I would talk a little bit about the history of wassail because I never heard of it before, as I mentioned, but um, apparently <laughs> wassail is kind of like an old English um, beverage and tradition. Um, it comes from like the, the word wassail comes from the like old Norse vashel, which means it's like a greeting, like it means good health. And so a lot of people would say wassail when they were like cheersing a beverage, like to your good health. And um, eventually it just became a name of the beverage. <laughs> um, you might have heard the old Christmas carol, Here We Go a Caroling. Well, apparently the song originally was Here We Go a Wassailing. And that's because wassailing was a tradition where you would carry around the wassail bowl around town and sing songs and people would come and drink from the wassail bowl and you would offer wassail in exchange for gifts. And this eventually became Christmas caroling as we know it today, but that's kind of the origin of the, the term wassail and wassailing to go about singing and, and sharing a wassail beverage with everyone. Original wassail recipes were made with mead and crab apple, and another early version of the recipe called for like curdled milk and eggs. I'm very, very happy that Betty Crocker decided to simplify the recipe that I'm making today. because I don't know if I would have liked that. All right, the moment of truth. We bring the wassail to the punch bowl. <laughs> it's steaming, it's so steamy. Oh. Okay, it doesn't even fill the whole punch bowl. <laughs> That's fine, it's fine. I also don't have a ladle for this punch bowl, so we're gonna use a soup ladle. Cuties. Ow. Ow. Burn myself. Yeah, I don't really need five or six stars, given that punch bowl is not very large. <laughs> Try to float three. Ooh, I feel like this is like a witch's brew. Steamy, steamy. All right, let's give our wassail a taste. All right, it's time to test the wassail. I'm scared because it's hot. Oh, that's really nice. <laughs> um, the pineapple is definitely like pronounced. Like I can definitely taste the pineapple. It's like a good balance of pineapple to apple cider flavor. I can't taste the cinnamon, but I can smell it while I'm sipping and the cinnamon stick is like right in my nose. So that's kind of nice. Yeah, it's like spicy and sweet. Ooh, it's good. Tart. <laughs> the warmth is nice. Ooh, I like it. It's pretty tart. <laughs> it's pretty tart. <laughs> <laughs> but it's good. All right, Wassel, this is pretty tasty. It was really easy, quick to put together. Didn't have to like simmer for a long time. I've like made mulled wine and things before that like need to kind of simmer all day. And this was really fast and really delicious. I like it. And I'll, I would probably make it again for a holiday party. So you should give it a try too. Let me know how it goes in the comments below. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna give this five out of five red spoons. Why not? It's perfect. It's Christmassy, it's cute, it's warming, tastes good. Done. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing holiday, whatever you celebrate. I hope you have a lot of good time with friends and family eating amazing food. Thank you so much for watching. I am so grateful for all the time you spent with me this year. I'm looking forward to many more things in the new year with you. So 
Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and until next time, happy homemaking.